Hey guys, welcome back to the channel Everyday Carry for the Everyday Guy. What a week it's been for us here in South Africa with the whole uh, Firearm Amendment, Firearm Control Act. I feel like it's been a crazy week for all of us EDCs. If you're watching from anywhere outside of South Africa, thank you for checking out the channel. Um, today we're going to have a cigar and a whiskey. I'm filming this on a Friday night, so it's an excellent way to wind down. You guys will probably see it if you're watching on date of release on a Saturday. It's still weekend and I hope you guys are enjoying your weekend. If you haven't, and you are a cigar smoker or whiskey drinker, hit pause, go pour yourself a whiskey, get yourself your favorite cigar. Uh, you'll want to enjoy this with me. Let's enjoy it together. Those of you who have, who have been following my channel will know the light and spirit section of my channel is where I look at a cigar and a whiskey. Today I'm going to really only focus on the cigar. I do have a whiskey that I will be pairing it with, of course. And we are going to have a look at the Paridoso Revolution, or if you are South African, the Paradiso Revelation. Uh, this is by Ashton Cigars. It is a really, really beautiful cigar. I want to say a huge thanks to the guys, Dudley, especially at JJ Kale, for um, recommending this cigar to me. And what we were, what we're going to pair it with, I'm sorry if I turn my head and you lose sound, my mic's right above my head. What I was going to pair it with was this 12-year-old Glenfiddich. Um, I really enjoy my whiskies and, and this would definitely have been a good pairing but as I was going through my um, whiskey cupboard, cabinet, whatever you want to call it, I noticed that there was just an ounce of Gentleman Jack left over. Gentleman Jack guys, it's just a really nice, shall I say, average mellow whiskey. Um, it's not super expensive. I tend to not buy whiskies under 400 bucks. This actually comes in well under 400 bucks and I've really enjoyed it. It's the first and only bottle of Gentleman Jack I've ever bought and it seems like there's just enough to get this weekend uh, off to a good start. A little nubby nub. So um, let me pour a little whiskey. We're going to V-cut this guy. I actually had my first, believe it or not, my first V-cut a few days ago and I can honestly say V-Cut is the way to go uh, and I'll talk to you guys a bit more about why I like it as we go through the video again huge thanks to Dudley at JJ Kale for hooking me up with this beautiful V-Cutter uh, we'll cut this guy I'll show you what the V-Cut looks like and we'll see what's what nosing it I got I definitely got a lot of cocoa I got a lot of earthiness um, sort of the scent you get from from like wet wet earth wet sand if you if you if you have a garden you'll know what i'm smelling what, what it smells like especially in the winter everyone's going to get a different scent from a cigar which is normal and the way that kind of works is you kind of smell things that you are used to smelling so if you work around leather you will smell leather in your cigar so i try to as far as possible never look up what the cigar should smell like scent wise but got leathers cocos i got sweetness i got a bit of a raisin in there and I, I don't often get raisin but the way it's drawing beautiful mm. i tell you the nice thing of a v-cut is it, it doesn't sound weird it gives you a place to put your tongue and i think people don't agree with this some people might not agree some people might agree I think having your tongue inside that V almost creates like a, a a more intense flavor on the on the the, the draw. I'm a huge fan of the V cut. I, I think I'll probably be V cutting most of my cigars going forward. Got a nice even burn. Now, while I smoke this guy, let me take you through some stats. So the Paradiso Revelation is 5.7 inches. This is a 60 ring gauge. It's on the fatter side. Uh, it's a Dominican cigar. The wrapper is Ecuadorian Sumatran. Uh, the bind is Nicaraguan and the filler is Nicaraguan. If you are looking for this, guys, check out the guys at JJ Kale, the entire value you get. It's going to cost you in around 300 bucks. And I can tell you so far, it is 300 bucks well spent. Let's, let's take a sip with the old gentleman and see what that does. Mm. It's sweet. Gentleman Jack is surprisingly sweet. 
and as a result it pairs really well with a cigar which is generally a bitter uh, a bitter flavor profile so you get the bitterness from the cigar and you get the sweetness from the gentleman it, it really is an underrated whiskey now i was talking to michelle a few days ago michelle doesn't drink whiskey bless her she'll get there eventually guys if you're new to whiskey first off start off with a good whiskey okay if you start off with poor quality stuff it's going to ruin your experience forever secondly whiskey isn't something you can just touch your lips to all you will taste is this weird wet cardboard bitterness you want to take a sip of whiskey you want to hold it in your mouth you want it to heat up on your palate mix with your saliva and that's when you're going to get the flavors and the scents and if, if you if you want to take it a bit further breathe out through your nose as you do it now breathing out through your nose with a cigar is called retrohaling it's dangerous sometimes a cigar is going to be so hot like this guy that there is quite a bit of pepper in the drawer so breathing out through my nose you will feel sometimes a slight tinge on your nose now your nose has sensitive fibers and as you blow smoke over it if it's too intense those fibers will retract and then you'll start losing the ability it'll sort of coat itself with a layer of saliva you will lose the ability to smell and you lose the ability to taste your cigar so you've got to be very careful on the retro oil if you're new to cigars and you want to retro oil blow all the smoke out of your mouth and then just breathe out that last bit you're actually just breathing out air that's the residual air uh, um, but because there's that scent in your mouth you get the scent of the cigar and it makes the flavors just pop so much more it's really well worth doing but take it slow if you are new to it right it's something that that can ruin your experience so if you're new to cigars slow on the retro oil this definitely is peppery i still strange enough i still get some really nice sweetness out of it which is nice the draw is beautiful it's not it's not that the it's not the the smoothest draw i've ever had but it's it's just it hugs it just enough to where it's asking you to draw in but not so much to where you're trying to suck a golf ball through a hose pipe you know what i mean let's do a few edc q and a's so etienne etienne van week van week hi ryan thanks for the channel uh, really appreciate what you're doing for the, for the edc community in south africa quick question not necessarily edc related are you and southwest solsters i think his name is james as close as what it makes as what you make it appear <laughs> or is it just for the youtubes so etienne that's a very good question and to answer you james and i talk almost every single day that here's the thing so james sent me a holster a while back uh to review and fun enough he was one of the few guys who said i don't care what you say about master just just be honest put the review out um and since then we've developed a friendship we have very similar minds when it comes to artisticness i like nice looking things he likes nice he's a tattoo artist so he likes nice looking things as well and um he's incorporated into his holster i we, we were friends during this migration from his his uh business from from doing it the normal mold way to vacuum forming uh and he's a cool guy i will never tell him that so we have this kind of relationship where i'll be the first person to tell him his also is crap I, I will never i've never told james to his face he has an amazing holster like when he sends me an amazing holster i tell him i could have made this with a hair dryer screwdriver and some codex we have that kind of friendship um and that's another thing i like about it or about him as a human being he doesn't take things personally like you can have a proper joke with him he calls me it's politically incorrect but we're having fun he calls me uh, he's one colored cape town for some some stupid thing like that um so yeah we we come from a similar generation where we not very uh, where we're very resistant to being offended and yeah yeah if you ever get the opportunity strike up a conversation with james he is big on the edc community he really believes in pushing the community and 
and building EDC in this country, he wants to make educated, violent gentlemen as well. He's talked about uh, sponsoring people for training courses. So he's an all-around cool guy. He's just not soft. He actually told me something that is the most truest thing anyone's ever told me. He said, South Africa is an amazing place. It's just not for pussies. And and that's James in a nutshell. And and yeah, that's the kind of thing he will say. And he'll say it on his YouTube, YouTube channel as, or his Instagram channel as well. So very, very cool girl. Um, guys, go down to JJ Kyle. Get you one of these... Uh, Paradiso Revolutions. You see, as I, as I drink the whiskey, the tongue gets a bit looser. I developed that uh, Latino aspect of myself. Michelle loves it. Um, get yourself a gentleman, Jack. It's like 350 bucks. And you can probably find it cheaper if you, if you look around and enjoy this. You will absolutely... not regret it. For those of you who don't know, what's going on in South Africa and what I was talking about at the beginning of the video with the firearm laws. Firstly, guys, I don't know if I've said this before, but I do apologize for the vehicle noises. I don't know what the story is with the amount of vehicles. It's like it's eight o'clock at night and and there's just so much cars driving up and down. So I'll try to wash it out with some background music, maybe if I find the right tone. But maybe for you guys in the US or, or just someone who isn't familiar with what's going on in South Africa with regards to the firearm licensing. Um, our... How do, how do I even, what do I even say? There are certain people in high places who believe that in South Africa, um, because, listen to the craziness of this, right? Because we have such a high crime rate and because most crimes are committed with, with the use of firearms, these people believe the solution is to not allow law-abiding citizens like myself to own a firearm. They want to this arm to public. Now, let me put this into context. I'm a colored male, right? So I'm going to talk about colored males. Let's say, this is this people's train of thought. Let's say, for instance, in South Africa, 90% of all crimes were committed by colored males, okay? Between the age of 20, uh, between the age of 30 and 40. What they are effectively saying, listen to how ludicrous this is, it's a similar concept as saying, well, because you are a colored male between the age of 30 and 40, you are more likely to commit the crime. Therefore, even if you have not committed the crime, we're going to put you in jail. That is the idiosity of this, this firearm amendment. Uh, I'll, leave a, I'll leave a link down below to where you can go. Guys, even if you're not South African, if you value freedom, if you're American, if you value the Second Amendment, go down there, put a comment saying this new firearm bill is ridiculous and it shouldn't be, should not be passed. Civilians should be allowed to own firearms. We need to come together as an international EDC community because EDC is not just an African thing, it's not an American thing, it's a global thing. And if if I could do the same for an American brother, I would absolutely do it. So no matter who you are, if you're watching this video, absolutely go and comment. Uh, I'll leave links down below to where you can post that comment. Have your say because, as I said, the community of armed civilians who are dedicated to protecting each other is a is an international community. It's probably one of the last real brotherhoods that transcends boundaries, in my opinion. If you guys want to know where I got this beautiful um, ashtray, this is actually handmade by my girlfriend Michelle. I'll put some close-ups in. Handmade. She's actually making one for Richie Kwan. Those of you who follow UFC, Richie Kwan is a is a highly acclaimed UFC uh, coach, Brazil, a Brazilian jiu-jitsu master uh, if i ever get to johannesburg it, it would be the greatest honor to, to 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 take a lesson with him i am a second stripe blue belt in jiu-jitsu it is hard to get don't don't let the belt kid you okay it's hard to get a blue belt it's hard to get second stripe and that's actually where most people quit funny enough the reason i don't do jiu-jitsu anymore it's not because i don't want to personal story a buddy of mine, Andre, who I usually do these videos with, he's actually away for the weekend. Um, he was in a very bad motorcycle accident. And I and while I was in hospital, I gave him my blue belt and I said, I will not roll again until you and I roll together. Funnily enough, he's now fitter than what I am. He's always been fitter. I think even when he was laying in the hospital bed, he was probably fitter than what I am. Mm. 
If you find gentlemen and ladies don't mind, I will just empty this last little bit of gentlemen jack. I see no reason to keep that little bit when we have such a good thing going. I don't like mixing alcohol. I I like drinking alcohol neat. So if I drink a rum, it will be a quality rum and I'll drink it neat. I don't really drink vodka anymore. When I used to drink vodka, it was about how can I, how quickly can I get drunk and how bad can my anger be tomorrow. If I wake up and I ask where am I, I wasn't drunk enough. If I wake up and I ask who am I, then I know I was drunk enough. So those days are, are behind me. These days um, I enjoy whiskey, I enjoy a good rum, uh, brandies, I'm uh, more on the cognac side. I do enjoy bourbon though. I love old fashioned. I actually use some of the Gentleman Jack to make a few old fashions and it came out really nice. If you guys like a sweeter old fashioned, then that is a definite option. With regards to the Ashton Cigars Paradiso Revelation, it is a real nice cigar. It's actually, believe it or not, as we've gotten into the middle, it's mellowed out a bit. Could be that I'm just getting used to it. The pepperiness has gone away. It's been replaced with a with a, this is going to sound weird, but a leafy tobacco -y kind of almost very, very, very light cinnamony flavor coming through. Very easy draw. The draw hasn't changed, which is very nice. We are about, I'd say, what is the time now? Guys, we're about 45 minutes into this and we've still got a good good bit left of the stick. So we're going to, we, I mean, we could go for another 45 minutes. As you go, you're looking at one, two puffs every 45 seconds or so. It's not a cigarette. If you leave this guy, it will burn out. They say that the the, the, the higher the quality of the cigar, the, the less likely it is to burn out during, uh, while just leaving it. I've noticed uh, even some of the really expensive ones, I mean, this is high in the price range um, here in South Africa, but I've noticed you're looking at about three, four minutes excuse me maximum and then it's going to burn out there's no there's no additives all this all a cigar is is tobacco leaves and a little bit of uh vegetable oil just to 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 bind the cup and that's it there's nothing added to it and it's a beautiful beautiful thing guys let's take another edc q a and then we can we can end this off uh, let's see if you want to ask me anything on, on uh, if you want to ask me anything that's answered on the channel guys You can DM me on Instagram or inbox me on Facebook I'm EDC for the EDG anywhere and I'll ask and answer your question on the channel. So This question is from someone who just calls himself John the name you leave in the comment is the name I'm gonna say and John asks I don't know the any training courses happening in Cape Town in the near future, I saw your Global Phalanx video and I'd really like to do that sort of training. What does something like that cost? And can you keep us informed as to when and where training will be happening? So John, yes, um, training is vitally important and, and good on you for taking up that, that, that mantle of wanting to be trained. The East training course is happening. I believe Fundikono training consultants are coming down. Um, I believe uh, Bravo Tactical Africa are going to be here June, July, most likely at False Bay uh, Shooting Academy or Pistol Club, whatever it's called. So check that out. It is valuable. It is as important as buying ammo. It's as important as going to the range of shooting because you will learn things you didn't know. You, you didn't know you needed to know. You don't know what you don't know until someone tells you you don't know it and shows you that you don't know it. So very, very important. I highly recommend you get in on the training scene. In fact, I would say that you should dedicate yourself to do at least, at least one training course a quarter. Look at four training courses a year um, and try to vary them up, pistol, medical, pistol, that sort of thing. So that you get, so that you are well rounded. Think of it this way. Who do you want to be next to you when the shit hits the fan? If it's not you, if it's not another version of yourself, then you need to get some training in. You know what I mean? Global Phalanx will also be coming down Kinetic, Kinetic Solutions as well. They are they are ultra high level. So that's all going to be happening soon. Yes, I absolutely will let you guys know 
when that's happening via my various social media so if you aren't following me on facebook and instagram please do so if you aren't following me on youtube please subscribe if you like this kind of thing let's let's end off so i can enjoy uh, the last bit of this so the paradiso the whisk is getting me the paradiso revolution um it's a winner i don't like to give my cigars ratings at a 10 or abc or d because what what works for me might not work for you but um, if you are looking to get into it and you do have maybe it's kind of on the high end you're looking at down 300 bucks give or take chat to dudley at jj kale if you're in cape town go to tiger valley find jj kale speak to dudley he is a squire and an absolute gentleman even if you're not into the culture of smoking cigars you you can talk to him and you can tell him look start here go to here don't buy anything too expensive he's a he's an honest guy and i highly recommend you guys look him up um if you are in the Cape Town area. I'm not sure if they have a shop in any other city in South Africa. I'll find that out. But Dudley at JJK is a proper, proper guy. And he doesn't just push his product. He he talks to you and finds out what you like, what you don't like, where you are in your cigar smoking journey. And he recommends good things. I do want to say a massive thank you to him. Guys, if it is okay with you, I will end off. And um, hope you guys are having a good weekend. Like I said, it's Friday. So you'll probably only see this on Saturday because after this, I'm not going to want to edit the video. So I'll edit it tomorrow. You'll probably see it Saturday. Um, or you're probably watching it now on Saturday. <laughs> so uh, guys, that is it from me. Have a good weekend. Be safe. Train hard. Enjoy life. Chill hard. Cheers. God bless.